welcome back to our channel. I am Mia. And I am Maya. And, and we are, are the Pitch Twins. Twins. So all of you guys, how have you guys been? Like we have not been on here in for freaking ever. We've been so freaking busy with this freaking website. Like we really, we just really haven't even had that much time. We was like, oh my gosh, we have to freaking post a video. We have to upload a video, you guys. So we haven't been on camera together. We haven't just done a sit down video in a while. I don't know you guys are always asking for like girl talks. So you guys, this is a girl talk. If you guys have read the title, this video is going to be about why you should look your best every single day and how you can become that girl of your life, okay? Because, baby, we're in 2022. It's time for you to be the main character of your life. We do want to start doing more videos like this on our channel. Um, we're women, and we've also been through a lot through our younger years. We're, we are still young. However, we feel like that we have a lot of information that can help you, help the help people that are younger than us, people that are older than us, just women in general of all ages. We feel like can get some use of this information. Yes. If you are, you know, self-critical, need some self-assurance or anything of that nature everything that we discuss in this video if you guys have any more tips and tricks that you guys want to leave in the comment section down below that can potentially help somebody else please leave it in the comment section down below we encourage you guys to leave it for now for me whenever i look good i feel good and when i feel good i feel very confident and i feel like i can take on the day and that's when my attitude is top notch because i just feel like you know i'm ready to take on the day honey. Right. i'm ready to get things done i'm, I'm ready, ready to do things. this this and the third okay i'm ready to you know have a great outcome on my day so if you are on a journey to like leveling up yourself becoming the main character of your life or just becoming that girl of your life because you should definitely be that, that girl, girl okay <laughs> okay you have to show up and present yourself as your future self but in present time so basically you have to already be doing the things that you see yourself doing in the future or who you want to become you have to be doing those things now Okay. Yeah, the person you want to become, go ahead and be her now. Yeah, go ahead and be her right now. Until years, mm -hmm. months, weeks down the line, you can go ahead and start making those necessary changes right now. Yeah. Okay, because if you want to do it, then you mm -hmm. will. Yeah. Nobody is really ever ready. So yeah. if you start before you're ready, you're already putting in that time. You're already preparing yourself. You're already practicing. So then the time comes, you're already going to be prepared. You're already going to be ready to step into your, the role of the main character of your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also along with that was looking good and feeling good. So you guys have to wear clothes that are appealing to your body. So you have to wear what looks good on, on you. you. Whatever you feel good in, put it on. Right. Okay. Whatever is giving you that energy, what's giving you that positive vibes, like, damn, I look good. Okay. Put, put it, it on. on. Cause it's gonna put make it you on. Even more confident. Okay. Right. And get more of that. Okay. So. Definitely making sure that you take out the time to prioritize yourself. You should be. At least pouring, t putting time into yourself, prioritizing, putting effort into yourself every single day. Whether that's physically, emotionally, or mentally. Quick pause, you guys. <laughs> um, we actually want to show you guys some affordable jewelry that we have from Silviax Jewelry. You guys featured today are from Silviax. They are a personalized jewelry company. They offer a plethora of customized and personalized pieces to your liking, the wording, fonts, just a plethora of things. So this is how the box comes. It's very, very cute and it comes with a cloth to keep your jewelry clean from any damages or anything that you may see from having it around. The first piece are these earrings. They're the letter M, of course, my name. And they have these stones inside of them. It's a rose gold color, but they have these cute stones inside of them. They're, it is very dainty, it's very cute. I feel like you can pair this with a lot of different things. We have this gold plated necklace. It is a double deck initial necklace. So as you can see, the P is at the top and the Maya is at the bottom. It's very flirty. It's very simple. You know, simple is always the way to go. Just a quick tip. Now, sometimes you want to be bold, but it's simple. Simple will always be in style, okay? Simple will never go out. <laughs> Cute 
silver bracelet. Um, I was super excited about this bracelet because I thought it was going to become way bigger and just way bolder than what it did. But y'all, it just it's so it's so simple and cute. It's just very it's just classy. I thought it was just going to be a little bit too much for my liking, but I ended up loving it. Next, you guys, we have this M anklet. It is gold plated as well. It's very, very cute. You guys can pair this with a lot of different things. And you will literally never get tired of wearing it. It's just cute and it just will pair with so much. They are having a sale going on right now. I do believe that they usually always are having sales. So you guys should make sure you go check out their website. They offer a lot of things. Necklaces, rings, bracelets, anklets, everything. So make sure you guys go check out Sylvia. For me personally, whenever I put effort into myself, it like it shows in my appearance. I put effort into every other thing that is going on in my life. And whenever I don't put effort into myself and I just start feeling a certain type of way, it actually affects every other thing in my life. If you just wake up and roll out of bed and you just put up a shriveled up old shirt, you know, you're going on your house shoes, you know, you look like that you haven't even brushed your teeth or taken a shower <laughs> for the day. No, so I'm just serious. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. It's not a good look and it does not feel good. Like these things only create bad habits. Only create bad habits. Okay. And it's it's just, I mean, you have you really have more time than you than you really think. So if like you're scrolling down your social media channels, then you have time to put effort into yourself. You do. We take out a lot of time to schedule so many things in our life to be with everybody else but within ourselves. So if you can um, kind of, you know, take time away from certain things in your life and put time into yourself, then you can kind of elevate that way. I feel like elevation comes with replacing things. So you can't always, you know, hang out with this group of people all the time. You have to hang out with yourself as well. Take time to pamper yourself. Just take time to do things for yourself that will make you feel good and that you would love. Yes, and I agree. You you have to prioritize yourself because just like you were saying, we get so caught up in, you know, doing things a lot of times for other people that we oftentimes forget about yeah, ourselves. ourselves. So you have to make sure that you are making yourself the top priority, honey, in, in your life. In your life. You are that girl, okay? And you are the main character. This is your character. life. Right. So you need to make sure that you are doing things that's going to make you happy, okay? Okay, okay. Girl, period, girl. I could, girl, because I... Gotta let y'all know. Like, listen, okay? Self care is a part of you looking good every day and becoming the main character of your life and becoming that girl on any level. Self care, you have to make sure that you are always up kept. You need to make sure that your nails are clean. You need to make sure that your hair is done. Yeah. Your makeup is done. You don't have to now. You don't have to do any makeup if you're like a lip gloss and lash kind of girl. Just yeah. lip gloss girl. You can do Everybody that. Everybody is not into makeup, and if you're not into makeup, then you don't have to wear makeup. You don't have you to wear do not, lip gloss, yeah. eyebrows, whatever you're into. That's mm -hmm. what you can do. I mean, so I, yeah. just make sure, like you was saying about the nails, just make sure there are no dirt on your nails because you put effort into yourself feels good you yeah. are much more well, for me i am much more confident and you mm -hmm. will be much more confident as well yeah. it's a good thing for you to be putting effort into yourself as a woman you should always be investing into yourself in some mm -hmm. type of way the things you can schedule you can schedule routines for yourself that you mm -hmm. can do for yourself whatever it yeah. is that you want to do however many things that you want to do for yourself that's what you do mm -hmm. you know right. um exfoliating your body you moisturize making sure that you're hydrated making sure that you're drinking enough water like you're going out ashy yeah. because i know like oh my gosh y'all this is like such a big thing like <laughs> this is such a big thing y'all when i was younger i just did not put on lotion like that yeah like, i just used to be like oh my gosh let me just lotion my knees let me just you know let me just lotion this little this little section this little part this is the only thing that's showing but no y'all actually take that time to actually just you know lotion your whole body like you know just exfoliate your whole body y'all i exfoliate about two to three times a week my face and my body so mm -hmm. you know just take out time to just love on yourself care for yourself it, it comes down to the clothes that you're wearing it's actually your whole science psychology mm -hmm. behind these type of things so if you are just putting on going out in pajamas going out in bonnets you are subconsciously telling your mind you're subconsciously telling yourself that you just don't care about yourself for today. Yeah, you're, sub sub you're subconsciously just saying F you to yourself. And because how you look goes hand in hand with how you feel. Right. So if you are out here looking like pajamas and you're looking bonnet. like bonnets and you're looking like, oh, well, I just walked, I just rolled out of bed and now you're I'm just walking shower. outside. I mean, that's how the, you should expect your day to be exactly how you look. Right.
Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to go out looking like that? Why would I want to go out looking like I'm undervaluing myself? Right. You put time and effort into yourself, you're putting more value into yourself. So if you do decide to dress up for the day, if you do decide to make sure that your hair is done, your nails is done, if you want to apply makeup, if you can, then you, you are subconsciously telling yourself that today is going to be a productive day and today you are going to get it done. Okay. It increases your productiveness. Let's just yeah. say that. Okay? Like I was saying earlier, um, putting effort into myself makes me put that much more effort into everything else that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So it makes so, me want to go harder and do more for the right. things that I'm doing in my business and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So right so if you guys have not tried this like i'm just looking good looking your best every day i encourage you guys to please try this out and let us know in the comment section how it has turned out for you right how it has turned out. whether just like just like we said that doesn't have to mean makeup every day but it has mm -hmm. to mean you know making sure your hair is combed every day you know making sure you're looking presentable making sure you're washing your face making sure you're putting on lotion on your mm -hmm. face you know exfoliate your face do masks whatever um best works for your skin Making sure you do that, okay? Just don't go out. I don't know if people don't wash your face. I don't know. But don't go out without washing your face. Please. So these type of things can affect your mental state as well. So whenever you're not looking your best and you're just looking in the mirror, you're just like, oh, oh my gosh. I don't even feel like this. I don't feel like today. I don't like how I look today. I don't like how I am. So, you know, when you don't look good, you look at yourself in the mirror. That can affect that. Like, oh, I don't look good. And then you start mm -hmm. to keep telling yourself that. And then it goes into your subconscious mind. And then you really start to believe these things. Mm -hmm. And then that actually lowers your vibe. It lowers your vibration mm -hmm. to a mental state that you don't want to be on. Well, I know right. I don't want to be on. And I really don't want to be on the same frequency as people on that level. You are self-critical of yourself because of the way that you look. And you just need to just change it up right. a bit. You know, don't just like change it. it up a bit. And you know, when you look good, you can you can provide yourself with that self-assurance that you know I look good, okay? Because you do look good. You're not exercising. That can mm -hmm. affect your mental state as well. If you're looking in the mirror like, oh, I don't like what I see. It's, mm -hmm. you you can change it. It's so many things you can do. You can eat according to your blood type. You can exercise. Um, you can go into a caloric deficit. And when I eat certain fast foods, like it really makes me feel so low. Like I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. My stomach hurts so bad. And I just really just feel so sluggish that I just, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to be around anyone. And it's just, I'm just like, Ugh. and I hate it. So for me now, I barely even eat fast food. Incorporate smoothies into your diet. It boosts your energy. You guys, right. whenever I am eating healthy, drinking smoothies, Right. You know, you, you can I, be juicing. I feel good. I feel right. and I have a lot of energy. This even falls in line with making sure that making sure that you're taking your vitamins. You have to really hone in on what you are putting inside of your body. Yeah. Because what you're putting inside is gonna come outward. Whatever you're putting into your body, you're going to be able to see it on the outside. If you're mm -hmm. if, if you are overindulging in certain things. Yes. It's okay to have, you know, it's okay to have things, but just don't overindulge. You know? If you're not getting the proper sleep, you will be tired throughout the day and mm -hmm. it will affect your appearance. So make sure you are getting enough sleep because it mm -hmm. will drain you down. I know when I was up for two whole days, Maya was like, oh my gosh, like you look like like I was like, really? My eyes are red and I wasn't even tired. But mm -hmm. you know, it really showed in my appearance. So yeah, girl, you have to get your beauty rest. And another thing, you guys, so with goals in line with looking good every day, you want to make sure that you dress how you want to be approached. Mm -hmm. So now when you are networking, going to interviews or going to events, girl, events, period. You want to make sure that you look good, okay? And also, when you look good, that's how people will perceive you. Now, perception is everything, girl. Okay, it's everything. So... You want to make sure that you are perceived in the best light. And even when you're like on an interview, that can be the determining factor of what gets you the job or what lands you that client, that, that dream client that you've always wanted. Your attire can be the reason why you get promoted. Yeah. Because you looked the part. You looked the and part. And honest, and when you're first meeting somebody, first impressions are, are everything. So you need to make sure that you're making a first impression. Lasting everybody, if you get impression. Yeah, a lasting impression. Like, whether you want to think this or not, people are going to be judging you off of your appearance. Yeah, whether, and that's whether, whether you want to believe it or not. Yeah, whether this is the world we live in. So you always want to make sure that you are setting a good impression. That you're just now starting out in business, but you know you at our and you're at a, like a networking event or something like that. You no, know, you want to land clients, so you have to look like that. Okay, right. you can't just be looking like who did it and why, because they're gonna be looking at you like who did it and why. Right, they're gonna be looking okay. at it. it if you're out here running yourself like that, then how are you gonna how are you running your business? Yeah. Are you running your business the same way? 
it don't look good it don't look good yeah so you never know who you're gonna meet anywhere you know you i mean we meet people every single day you never know who you run into at like different events or anything of that nature even the grocery so, store yeah even the grocery store you always want to make sure that your first impression is the best impression Looking your best every day will also boost your confidence. So if you are feeling a little down that day or you you don't ever want to look like, if you're feeling down, you don't ever want to look like that. Okay? Yeah, you don't ever want to look like what you're going what through. You're going through. through. Aware of what is triggering you when you are speaking on yourself. So if you are speaking negatively on yourself, then you will only have a negative impact um, on yourself and you will attract negative things into your life and into your space and into your aura. When you're talking about attracting negative things into your aura, you guys definitely do have to pay attention to that because if you are just being negative, being down, down yourself, you're going to attract that those same people into your life. Mm -hmm. And you don't need those same people in your life because you're actually trying to go to a whole totally different level. Different you're trying to elevate. If you went and talked to your friend the way that you're talking about yourself, then you need to cut it out. Yeah. Because it's, it's not a good look. I don't even like how you come at yourself. And I don't, I, don't like, I don't like how you're speaking to yourself. I feel like it's very rude. It's very disrespectful. And why would you want to disrespect yourself like that? Like, girl, no so many positive and good things that you can say about yourself that you have gotten right. directly about your life so whenever you feel like that you just want to down yourself girl think about all the positive things that you have done in your life think about what you have accomplished what you have succeeded think about how good you look okay period because we will always be our biggest freaking critic oh my gosh it's actually crit critical or is it negative so mm -hmm. if it is negative, then you need to do something to get it out. I don't know what you do. You need to sage. You need to throw you some holy oil, holy water. You need to you know, throw some axes. You know, cleanse your <laughs> energy. You know, you need to jump up and down. You need to, you know, do a couple claps. You know, I mean, whatever you got to do, get it out. I just want us to be more kind to ourselves. We all literally have those days where we feel like just rolling out of bed and throwing on anything. But y'all, the secret tip. Okay, it's the secret to, sauce is to get you a set, get you some joggers, get you some leggings, get you some apparel that you don't have to put any effort into, and you can literally just grab it, throw it on, and go. You know, mm -hmm. just don't look like that you just threw on anything. Just make sure it's not wrinkled, and just make sure that your hair is done. You know, whatever you do, just make sure your hair is done. Okay, okay. If it's not nothing else. If you want to throw on lip gloss, cool. Okay, so you guys, lastly. What I'm going to encourage you guys to do, so making sure that you're always looking good, making sure you're always feeling your best, making sure you're the it girl, the main character in your life, is to just cut off all of your negative friends. I definitely agree with that. You guys, you know, you just like you were saying earlier, you, you cannot be hanging out with all these negative energies, these negative people. They're just bringing negative things into your life. Pulling onto your energy. They're pulling onto your energy and their energy vultures, and you're going to have to get them out. Right. So, basically, if you have friends that are telling you that you need to dress down, you know, why do you look good? Who you're, who are you looking good for? You know, why are you dressed like that? We're just going here. You no. know, they are definitely intimidated by Why you. are you wearing um, that? Why are you so dressed up? And they're probably jealous. So, I would just say that you need to just get those people out of your life because... Right. They are affecting you in not the positive way. Right. You know, because then you'll start to feel like, okay, well, maybe I am doing too much. Well, no, maybe they just need to go find less because obviously you're too much for them. So you need to go find you and the too much crew because the, 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 uh, the less, less and the, the too less lesser, crew, let, let them stay where they say. Stay to the left. Okay. okay. Because that, that's, that's going to affect your energy. I just don't understand you know, where you know someone is projecting their own energy about how they feel about their selves on their own insecurity. It's very sad. It's just sad mm -hmm. for someone to live their life projecting their energy and their insecurities onto someone else because you know they don't look as good. So now they feel like they have to come towards you and attack you for looking your best. And be because they feel a certain way about them, they feel mm -hmm. a certain way sub subconsciously about them, you know, not putting the best of effort into themselves and into yeah. their selves. When really they have the same 24 hours as you do. So if you can put effort into yourself, then they, they can, can put too. effort into their selves. That is all that we have to say on this topic. And if you guys, like I said earlier, if you guys have any tips that you want to let the girls know in the comments section, let, let the girls let them know. know. Okay. Because we love this. Let us okay. know, okay? If you got some so, information for us, let us know, okay? okay. <laughs> but make sure you guys um, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys share this video and subscribe. subscribe. And click the bell so you guys never miss a, a notification, notification from us.